world karma karma will come get you okay leah count your days sis cuz karma will come get you hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is lex and i would absolutely love it if you love this content if you want to support me if you want to support the channel if you could like share comment and subscribe it inspires me to keep creating it helps push the videos out there and it lets me know that you guys like what i'm putting out there thank you so much to every single one of you who has been tuning in thank you so much to those of you guys who comment thank you to those of you guys who leave nice comments telling me that you like the reviews all of that really seriously means a lot um and I'm just glad to be back here on YouTube. So I did some thinking about Love Island UK. And I think as of right now, I'm probably going to just do a recap of the... I think I haven't even done one video this week. So I'm just going to do a recap of the week on probably Friday. I hope that's okay. And then moving forward, I'm just going to kind of do it when I feel that it's interesting enough to do a recap. I'm sorry, y'all. It's just really hard i actually have a lot going on right now so it's really hard to get out and record two videos per day that's just a lot like i don't think y'all know but to edit one video takes 40 i'll say 35 to 45 minutes but it's still the recording process the rendering process the uploading process there's so much back-end stuff that goes on so you know support your fellow youtubers if you love us because this this is a passion project for me i'm not monetized yet like that so this is a passion project but yeah so that is kind of the update on love island uk let's get into us though baby the us recaps are gonna be every day because <laughs> this joint is good so let's get into it L child lord leah 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 so we left off the previous episode with rob and leah having their little conversation at this point they're both kind of dancing around the fact that they want each other they're not really saying it but they're both like looking at each other like what what rob i don't know what i just want you to know that i want you like i just want you to know that i care about you a lot still like no matter what has happened i really like honestly like really appreciate you saying that what are you thinking no i'm not saying that spit it out do you ever think about where eels come from <laughs> what what and it's like girl get on with like y'all know you want each other at the time anyway so leah does tell rob that she wants him and rob his awkward self changes the subject and he literally is like how do eels reproduce and i'm like this man cannot have a serious conversation to save his life he cannot have a serious conversation to save his life. He actually also brings up Connor. And this is not the first time that he's brought up like, but what about the relationship you have with Connor? And it's like obvious that Rob and Connor are friends. So I do think it is coming from like a genuine place that he cares about Connor. Um, but Leah's like, I don't care about Connor right now. Like, I just want to talk to you. And this man, like I said, he really cannot handle a serious conversation. So Leah, uh, Leah at this point goes away and she talks to Serena. Her and Serena, they definitely have like a little bestie thing going on. And she is telling how her how handsome that man looks. How handsome that man looks. <laughs> I have to go home and straight to therapy. Continue, but what, what, what happened, bitch? Okay talking about Rob and I'm like Leah this is crazy to me but you know what what goes around comes around because child Leah had a bad episode let me tell you so Aaron and Rob are talking and Rob is recapping the conversation that he had with Leah Aaron again drills in that Leah is trying to befriend him in order for her uh in order for him sorry to let his guard down and he is still continuing to push this narrative that andrea you know leah plotted to get andrea 
out. And Rob is like, I really don't want to believe she would do that. And I'm like, Rob, get smarter. <laughs> get smarter, okay? Um, but yes, that's what goes down there. And then Kendall is talking and he is saying that he feels like Nicole is drawing towards him. He does feel like um, they're getting closer. But the girls do tell him like, look, she just said it's 50-50. And Kendall's like, I can't hear the word 50-50. Because remember, Hannah did that to him. So he does say, though, that he wants to kind of stand up for himself and let her know, like, it's not only her decision, that also he has a decision as well in this and he can choose to be with her. And I do think that's good because I do think that some of the like I think especially with someone like Kendall he has definitely let the women have the upper hand where they think oh you're choosing me however he has to choose them as well so stand on business Kendall okay now Connor and Leah have a conversation I think overall I just wanted to like check on him and mm -hmm. like make sure he's fine because like at the end of the day like I I care about him a lot I can't sit here and say like I feel nothing towards him, but that also doesn't take away from the fact that I do feel something for you as well. Mm -hmm. Look, like I care about you a lot. I think we do have a good connection. I think it is something that is like absolutely worth exploring. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I really enjoy spending time with you. Um, Connor is still smitten. Like, I don't know. Connor is still, this man is kind of down bad, but you know what? So he tells her that he still wants to explore their connection. Then he starts going on this long soliloquy about Leah and how he feels about her. And he actually goes in for a kiss and she turns away. I'm like, oh God. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Everybody's getting a dose of what they deserve. Man, that's what you did to you. You look how you treated Janae. Remember that. So. All of the girls are now chatting and Kayla's saying that she's getting happier every day with Aaron. She's happy. She's good. Leah is talking about Rob and Connor and she says Rob is fun. They're similar and he's super fucking hot. However, Connor is hot on paper. He's hot in theory, but she's just not feeling it with Connor because again, Leah likes chaos, okay? Trust and believe if Rob wanted her and he was all into her, she would be saying the same thing, that she has the ick because Leah likes the chase. She likes the chase. Um, so she says at this point, her feelings are much stronger for Rob. Um, and Nicole and Kendall also have a conversation. And at this point, Kendall's asking Nicole, like, which way are you leaning? Like, you know, I heard that you're like 50-50, you know? And Nicole claims that she feels like the connection between her and Kendall is stronger than the connection with her and Miguel. And I'm like, girl, who are you lying to? So at this point, Rob, Kaylor, and Liv are discussing how he does not trust what Leah said in the car. And she started the conversation off with like, I don't hate you. I never talked bad about Andrea, and I never talked bad about you to Andrea. And I'm just sitting here. I just went, okay, but in my head, I'm like, yeah. fucking bullshit. Yeah, like. And, but then, and I didn't really think about this. I never really did, because I just didn't think she was getting nothing to do with it. And then she said nothing. You're joking. She told me that. First of all, she said that she never spoke bad on you or Andrea. Yeah, and which that... I know is a lie, which is why I was like, okay, if she's lying about that, then. What and then true? she said she took a back seat with the decision. Yeah, and then she Not didn't. True. At all. She was rooting for Andrea. One step. At this point, he's like, look, please keep this between us two, us three. Um, but I don't trust it. You know, like something didn't add up. He tells them how Leah has continuously stated that she took a back seat in the recoupling, that she took a back seat in the decision. And Kayla, or no, sorry, Liv is like, huh? Liv is like, she said, what now? Liv is like, oh no, what do you mean? She was the main one pushing for it. 
you know, she was the main one that wanted to get Andrea out. And Rob is like, oh my God, I knew it. You know, Rob is like, of course, like, I knew it. You know, she really tried to lie, but it isn't like that. So at this point, um, ooh, girl. At this point, you know, Cordell and Serena are sitting down and baby, Cordell look good in that twist out. Did anybody see that little twist out, Cordell? He look good. Child, mm, mm. Cordell look nice in that twist out. Oh, 180, you know, one, oh, 360. Three, 180. 360 is starting from the same spot and going right back to that spot. Oh. Like more of that, okay. You need to do that with your hair, sir, because that joint look nice, okay. Um, now they do have a conversation and they say they are not locked down, but you know, they're so open to exploring other things, they're happy where their connection is, but they both agree that they are not locked down. Um, and Serena says she is good with where the physical is. She says, like, she's not at a point where she's gonna be like jumping down his throat, making out with him all the time. So she's happy with where their physical connection is. Um, and then Miguel is also talking. Um, and he says in his, I think it's a confessional, I don't remember, but he says he likes Liv, but he's an aspirational guy who's looking for more. And I'm like, okay, sure thing. Um, and so Liv, he asks Liv though, what her top three is. And she says it is Miguel and Kendall. Um, and she doesn't have a third. And I always, like, when can, when can we get Liv and Miguel, you know? Because Liv, or no, sorry. When can we get Liv and Kendall? Because Liv, uh, Kendall said that Liv is his, like, type to a T. And then we never saw anything between the two of them. So I was just wondering when we get to see those two. Because I feel like it was, it could be something. Okay, it could be something. Both of y'all ain't got nobody. So why don't you try with each other? I don't know though, because I feel like I don't really see it for those two. I don't, like personality wise, what we see of Kendall and what we see of Liv, I don't know. I don't really see a romantic connection there. Um, but I don't know. So we have this game where basically they have to either choose to stay in the couple they're in or they can twist meaning that they want to explore another connection so y'all already know i only talk about the interesting parts so kendall says he wants to explore a new connection and nicole was shocked nicole was like the f fuck because and i do agree that nicole i believe thought she had the upper hand in this relationship even though she didn't so i was happy that kendall decided to twist you know show her like you can't just be playing me all day every day and expect that i'm gonna stay here miguel wants to explore a new connection um i think Liv was a little bit hurt by that but we know that uh, miguel wants to explore with nicole uh, Leah also wants to explore a new connection. No surprise there. And Serena also said she wants to explore a new connection. And I was like, oh no. I felt really bad, you know. I think Serena, I don't really like what she's doing to Cordell. I don't like the game she's playing. I don't like the fact that she's sitting here saying, oh, things are getting better, things are getting good. It just really goes to show she's trying to stay in the villa and it's really snaky. Like, I understand that she and Cordell did agree that they were still going to be open to other connections, but I don't know. You've already led this man astray once. Then you choose to come back and say you're happy just to again say you want to explore. Like, I don't know. Like, stop playing the mind games with this man. Like, it's crazy to me. So Cordell is really hurt. Like, he is really, really hurt. 
And at this point, the new bombshells come on in and it is Nigel, Kenny, and Cassidy. And I don't know. I, I don't know about these three bombshells. Um, off the gate, I can't really get a feeler. I do believe that Cassidy said she does like Rob. So it's going to be so interesting to see Leah have a meltdown because she gonna have a meltdown, right? Um, Kendall does say Cassidy caught his eye. And remember, Kendall also said his type to a T is Liv. So I think Kendall likes blonde. So we're gonna see because Cassidy is interested in, um, I just said his name and I can't think of it. Cassidy is interested in, um, in, was it Rob? I, now I can't remember y'all. I'm sorry. I'm I'm actually not feeling that well today, y'all. <laughs> this, I'm not feeling that well. I am not feeling that well. But in either case, we are going to see who the bombshells pull, okay? I'm really interested to see if Cassidy is going to be into Miguel. Um, but that's it, y'all. Leah? Leah, 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 Leah. Leah, girl. This is what happens when you are a person that talks on all angles and you don't think that people are going to talk. Because I think that's the problem with people like Leah, is they don't realize that people are going to talk. Especially when you're going to try to frame it on the girls and act like, oh, this was the girl's decision. It's like, no, this was a lot of your decision, girl. So that is where we are at. So tomorrow night, we are going to see how it pans out with these new bombshells. And I'm just going to say it. I think Leah might go home. If it's a guy's recoupling, I can 100% see Leah going home. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm just not sure that Connor is really feeling it anymore. Um, but that's it, y'all. That was yesterday's episode. Um, if you like this content, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. It continues to help me grow my channel. It lets me know you guys like this content. And we will be back for another recap of tomorrow night's episode. Have a great day. Bye.